gone are the days where people pay web developers to build them websites that you don't even know they will make you money, right? So especially as a job shift for someone in e-commerce, you are not 100% sure that the product that you've picked or the, the the website that you are trying to build will convert into making you money. So you pay close to about five to 10,000 rand for a website that you totally not sure of. So gone are the days. I know it sounds bad. I know web developers hate me for giving you these tools, but it is what it is. We knew it was gonna come. AI is here, ChatGPT is here. Damn. Elon Musk is out there creating robots that are gonna take orders from counters. So, I mean, it's either you work with AI or you just bend over and die. It is what it is, right? So what we're going to do is going to pick out a product first of all. I'm gonna pick out the product that I am going to be selling. I'm gonna tell you, I'm not gonna hide it from you like what I'm gonna be selling. After picking out a product, I'm gonna give you tips and tricks on exactly what you should be selling this festive season and beyond. Uh, I'm gonna have a one product store actually. Well, it's gonna be a unique store, like a, a niche down store, okay? I think if you can pick out what I'm wearing right now, you can pick it out. But anyway, number two, we are going to pick out uh, the website that we're going to be using. The best, guys, we're not gonna go like this. If WordPress, wah, wah, wah. Shopify is the best, okay? Especially the people in e-commerce, people that are trying to make money from their website. Shopify is going to be the best. It used to be complicated to go on Shopify and go back to YouTube and, you know, do tutorials on how to make your um, website clean and crisp, but it's unnecessary, right? It's unnecessary uh, because we have something called buildyourstore.io that builds your website less than two minutes so i'm going to show you how to do that step by step we're going to get the domain that's another thing you're going to need so your domain is uh ww at pusha empire.co.za that's your domain where people can catch you number three what we're going to do is that we're going to get what we call a gateway gateway is where people can pay you online using their credit cards their debit cards or paypal right yeah that is what is called the gateway and then number three what we're going to do is that we're going to decide which platform we are going to be marketing our products on the first thing that i actually want to do is i have everything listed out here everything so that i don't forget because it's been a minute that i built my own website to be really honest i don't i go to fiverr i pick out someone to build me a website but it's unnecessary with this tool coming in which is build your website build your store dot ai so there it is if you want it there's no link i'm not getting any affiliate i'm actually doing this so but i'll link it in the description below you can start with that or you can just go to build your store dot ai okay let's talk about the product that i chose and why i think this product will do amazing is because every time i wear this product Everywhere I go, people always ask me, where did I buy it, right? So I've seen two or three brands that have just basically, maybe let me say my clothing brand, which I used to close to make like 50 to 60, 70 K every single month with no fail, just selling hoodies and t-shirts that were just written Pusha, right? This t-shirt is about six years old pusha has been around like pusha clothing has been around for some time and let me tell you something this one actually glows in the dark you see that actually glows in the dark like that type of uniqueness you didn't get back in the days like you like it was something i used to come up with things that was just so cool people just wanted to buy it and this t-shirt is still really good from the supplier and it's like six years old it's just here where it's just you know uh lost that you know that crisp all right so let me break down what i am going to be selling and this is the t-shirt that i want to be selling and because it's not really copyright in south africa and everybody's actually using it so let me say my pusha and let me make an example of another store that is here but this this t-shirt, no matter where I go, people ask me where I bought it. And because this one is actually an original from the original creator, which is universal. I don't know if you can see that. It's ev ev Evolution. This one is from Evolution. That's the creators of the t-shirt. But everybody else is actually doing a mock-up of this t-shirt. So this is one, like, 
the material is amazing the like I've, i wear every single time that i feel like i need to be motivated so it's one of the t-shirts that i'm going to be doing to be selling it's summer people want to buy t-shirts and one thing about us like we are now conscious of buying local brands like people love local brands so i'm gonna have just a pusher like this right in front and at the back i'm gonna have need money to buy a porsche just like that my supplier will be laid back i think i've interviewed if you haven't checked out that video after this video go check it out it's linked over here um i'm gonna invite the boy for uh blueprint as well so i'm going to use them as my supplier because they have the best when it comes to t-shirt qualities and they make them from scratch i'm going to use that and then i am going to also use my local printer in the vault so if you're in the vault i'll also link the phone numbers for them that will be printing my stuff you can do exactly what i'm doing if you want to but let me tell you something there's gonna be so much competition with this type of thing so i'm thinking think out box when i say that i mean this right this is a perfect example of how a website should look like if you're gonna go that route right so i can tell when they say don't go i can see see this is a south african brand and i would definitely want to buy something from these guys with the collection that they have their website is crisp so this is what sort of like what we're going to be building theirs is so dope let me see if i can find out if this is shopify I can definitely see this is a Shopify store, right? So this is definitely a Shopify store. You know, I can just see from this. Uh, maybe when I see this 2024, wah, 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 I know for sure that it's, I could be corrected, but I know for sure that it's a Shopify store. Looking at this, they have quite cool designs, but their designs is very, very basic. That's why I say, People are just looking to buy something and you don't have to be like a creative when it comes to starting your own online store. I mean, for 250, I'm guessing that their margins is making 150. I'm guessing that their t-shirts, they're buying for 100 Rand and they probably have a printing machine to be selling for this price. I will not sell my, my t-shirt for this price. I feel like it's a little bit low. I will definitely sell my t-shirts for 599 or 500 bucks and they do buy them in South Africa. I know they also have this Porsche t-shirt i need money for porsche t-shirt that they did this over here so what like i said see what they did here first yep their logo so their uh brand name and at the back need money for t-shirt i mean me need money for porsche like it's so simple and it's 500 bucks just you know how i know that this product is moving because the other ones are cheaper than this one. This is 500 bucks because people are looking for this t-shirt and they can't find it anyway. So they made it to be accessible in South Africa. Because the one that I bought is way more than that. The one that I bought is definitely way more than that. You know what I'm saying? My Fatana, shut the fuck up, man. Hey. The way that I know is because if it's 499, the way that I know because if it's 499, this t-shirt the way that i know if it's 499 that means that oh fucking hell. so the way that i know that it's moving is because it's 599 and other t-shirts are a little bit cheaper right cool um another thing is that this t-shirt it's original price you can go check it out it's quite expensive so people getting it shipped from its originator overseas here <laughs> It's gonna be something so you can go google the price so that being said don't want to waste any more of your time uh, if you feel like i'm i'm just i'm not blabbering i'm just making sure that i give you tips and tricks on some of the stuff that you're going to need in order to have a really good well-built website right so let's get into this now that we've spoken about that let's get into the two minutes of building your shopify store right so get a shopify store basically for less than two minutes i do not get how pe the way that these things are so bold i don't get how people would say it's so difficult to press next so let's go through it okay so here is basically where you're going to put in your name your email address and password like it says right so I'm, i already have that i'm just going to log in i'm just going to put it in here and yeah okay let me log in 
I already have that, so I will already log in. So you have to just put in your email, your password, and everything else. Then log in, and then what you have to do is just follow the steps on exactly what to do. I am going to link another video below here that shows you exactly how to do this. So you're gonna basically choose a niche and everything else. So after you press next, you are going to, let's go back. Okay, so I already have that in place. So I'm going to press sign in, right? So now you're gonna come here and it's gonna say choose, choose your niche. It's gonna show you all the steps that you have to go through. You have to go through all these steps. So choose your niche. I've chosen my niche, right? So my niche was fashion and apparel because I'll be selling t-shirts, right? So that's what I chose. Let's go back. And you're just gonna go next. You are gonna go next, right? And you can say, choose your banner, right? So the banner that I've chosen is basically the brown because that's what I'm going to be designing with. These two browns and this thing, I wanted to see what it's going to do. So you can choose whichever one, but you have six to choose from, right? And then it says create your Shopify account. Now, what you're going to do is access your Shopify account. So what you're going to do is the link below, the link below, use that link for to get $1 on your Shopify store. So you're gonna pay $1 for your Shopify store. So that's 15 Rand. Let me make it clear. When you are, that is just for your first month, right? So you you need to start getting some revenue and knowing that you're going to be paying $4.99 for your store every single month to host it on Shopify, right? So have that in mind at the back of your head, right? So as much as the design of doing all of this is free, not everything is free. You still need to, it's like buying a car. You still need to be able to maintain it, right? So you need to still buy some stuff for your car. You need to buy petrol for your car to move. Just because someone came in, let's say you want a car, doesn't mean now you want a car, you also want petrol. So you need to maintain your site. So think about other costs that you're going to have. And also remember at the back of your head, just keep on saying, I'm not paying 5,000 Rand. I'm not paying 10,000 Rand to get a website. The best I can do is the money that I was gonna spend on someone building me a website, I'm gonna build it up myself and I'm gonna use that for my domain. I'm gonna use that to maintain my website for the next year and I'm going to run ads with that 5,000 man I could have spent, right? Cool, shot. So now that we are here, uh, you have to just click on the link and it will take you to Shopify. Uh, so this is the Shopify store that you have to do. It's, uh, uh, it's actually a month. Your first month is $1. So just start your free trial here and then it will take you to the site itself, right? So when it takes you to the site itself, you just have to click next, click next, say you're having a website and then you're going to come to a point where we are actually building the website, right? But I want to get here because you need to finish all these steps. Remember, you have to finish all these steps so that this thing can build you a website, right? So what when it says get access to um, Shopify, you just have to make sure that you do this whole Shopify thing. Use the link below to build your own to get access to Shopify and then come back here, right? When you are done, then you just fill in, then you just say done once you have done that. So before you get to this step, you need to go into your Shopify store because you're going to need this um, URL number. So your URL is something that you see over here. So the URL for this store is basically over here, right? So admin, that's the URL, you're gonna copy that, then you're gonna come back here, and then you're gonna paste it over here because it's going to ask for that, right? And then you're just gonna update it. And when you say update, you just leave it alone. When you say update, after the date, after update, leave it alone for like two minutes and it's gonna build you a website. And I'm gonna show you exactly how the website is gonna look like. So after it's updated, it's building your, 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 it's building your store and then boom, you are done, right? So it's gonna make sure that you have a store and after making sure that you have a store, you are completely done over here. You don't have to boost and do all these things, go live and take course, take your, their course and everything else that is in here. It is fine, leave it as it is. We'll get into that a little bit later with if, if you actually need those things, but you don't. All we need is them to build us our website, which they did. Thank you very much. So when you go into your shop or back into your Shopify store, now that 
it's build your shopify store it's in the app the app itself is build your shopify store you're gonna come over here now this is when it becomes very very interesting because this is where we are going to look at the back end it's what they call the back end drop shippers and the back end what is the back end this is where everybody gets confused of what exactly to do so this is where you have to start paying attention now that you have your store so if you come to this icon over here once you logged in right once you logged in you're gonna come to this icon over here when you come to that icon over here you can click and see what it has actually designed for you so this is my pusher clothing right so this is my pusher clothing uh, website you see what it's done I don't have to do all of this you know how frustrating it used to be to put this on to do all these things guys it, it takes so much work but as much as it has built me this website I like the way that it's done it but let me tell you something there's so many other people that are gonna be doing the same thing so you don't want to do this you don't want to have a website like this and just run it like that so we're gonna make a few changes by coming over here all right so let's go through actually what all of this is so the first thing is this is your home page this is where you you basically gonna add your first product leave that we'll do it a little bit later customize your store it's already been done add your domain we're gonna add our domain and basically everything that you need to do but you can just ignore this your orders will come in over here right so when you start having orders all your orders are here i think you've seen drop shippers showing you their phones of how much they're making that's where it's coming from and then the products that we're going to add all our t-shirts and everything else that is in here right so i don't know what this is oh it's my v-neck collar neck but it doesn't have all the stuff okay cool so we still have to add some of the t-shirts that are in here for the store right so what i'm going to do is just like i'm going to delete all of this so it doesn't it mustn't be something that is going to be a distraction on your side so let's say it's blank for now right it's blank we don't have any 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 products that are there okay so i want to start it over here so that you don't get lost and then this is customers all the customers that come to your store i haven't run marketing we are not going to run marketing directly over here wow i've got 15 view i think it's because i'm in and out and that's why i've got 15 uh so this is where you see how many people have come to your store i'll explain all of that a little bit later but here is where it's very important so click on this online store you see where it says themes if you're not happy what with what shopify uh build your own store and two minutes has done for you this one you can just go all the way here a lot of people use this theme over here or don you can use whatever whatever makes you you know even this you can also use and add it i'm not a, i'm not a fan so but i'm going to use the one that has been custom for me by build your own store shopify right uh build your own store uh dot ai right so let's get into what i need to to look at first thing right when it comes to my store first thing that i need to look at is that this is the current theme that is build your store right so build your store is what we have here so if you hit customize if you hit customize this is where we're going to customize our store because this is how it looks like and on the left of your of your of, of your store is where you can basically look at where to navigate into your store right so if you go on announcements you see if i click on that that's where the announcement box is if i go into my right hand if i go this way into my right this is where i can make changes so you see that's black right now that's the theme that's black so you can change that into any other color you want it to be right you see it's white now but we always go for black when it comes to um, customizing our store right so always remember the changes on this side and then on the left hand side is where you click to actually um, see if you can navigate so it says free shipping here in South Africa we don't use free shipping you click on free shipping and you can say it says welcome to my store so over here what you can do is go to my left my right my right and you can change instead of welcome to my store you say pusha 
clothing. Um, yeah, you can say push your clothing. Whatever I wrote in here. Push your clothing. Yeah, you can say push your clothing. I don't know what, 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 what else I can write here. Usually here we write both three working days. Uh, write both three working days. Oh, pick up. Right. So some people pick up their stuff. Three working days for pick up. Pick up their store. So whatever you do. Whatever you want to be there it can be three working days for delivery, three working days for pickup. It can be whatever you wanted to do to to be on your like. If someone goes into your store, what do they want it to be, or how do they want it to look like? Like I said, on the left is what where you navigate, and on the right is where you change. I always say on the left is where you navigate, and on the right is where you change. All right, are we together? Are we together? Don't get lost. Don't get bored. If you get bored already, you can't do drop shipping. You can't do e-commerce. Okay? Don't get bored. We are here. It's very simple. Back in the days, you had to use codes. You had to be a very smart guy to do a website. Now it's just like re literally looking at this video, copy and pasting. So if that's gonna be a problem, maybe this is not for you. All right? And I don't mean to sound harsh, but I saw you yawning. I did see you yawning. Now I'm not happy. Okay? So let's go. So what we're going to do is every time we click, you see this thing actually highlights in blue. So if it highlights in blue, you click over there and then it says a discovery, right? What do we say in the left? In the left, what do we do? Yes. And in the right, what do we do? Yes. Okay. So we're going to click on that. And when we click on that, we are going to change it up because we don't like this picture. So we're going to go and find a relevant picture for push your clothing and we're going to put it in there. So if it says select library, it's all the stuff that is in your library. So when you go to add image, it's where you can go and add your own image, right? So if I say add image over here, it should take me to my library. Let's wait for it for a little bit. So it takes me to my library and in my library, I should be able to find the pictures that I want. Now, be very careful using other people's pictures. Be very careful Googling other people's pictures because someone can come and sue you. So this one right here is a pusher one so if someone had to use my picture if someone had to use my picture which is this one why is it not uh, okay so it's not going through i have to just check why not it's not going through but this is a, a nice pick that i want to use for that all right let's just use something else for now while i go get it right so if someone had to use my picture uh, without my permission, I won't be very happy about that, you know, uh, because you can't just take my pictures from online and then put it on your website. That's how you get sued. Okay. So I don't like that very much, but this is not going to look that nice. It's okay. It's okay. But, uh, what I, I want to do is have a banner, which I'm going to have the banner a little bit later. So I'm customizing this to make it my own. You see where it says, uh, you know, discover sim simplicity. That's not thing. So we say push a okay, Let's do capital letters Push a That's what that's our our caption pusher pusher to the hertz panda to the works right pusher to the works panda till it works pusher to the hertz panda till it works right so that's what our caps log is and then we're going to add basically some of the stuff there but i'm showing you what you can do you see over here i don't like this that much so what i'm going to go i'm going to go for medium so you see it went for medium size over there and then it says shop for collection. It's going to go straight into the products that you actually have. We are going to add products a little bit later. Okay. So this is how far we are. If you want to change how this looks, which I don't like, see it's brown. I don't like the brown. So I'm going to go for the black theme. Now I don't like that black. So I'm going to go back to the black and look for the dark black. 
I like the dark black, boom, see? So, like I said, always remember, so you can take your time with this. You can even come over here and change the logo if you don't like this. If you come over here and then you don't like anything that is in here, you still have to change it. You're going to go to the left hand, to the right hand, and basically just change it, right? So this is the main page. It's going to say remove this. You can remove it completely, right? I want it there, so I'm not going to remove it. So I'm going to have my main page over there. Right, so I'm gonna have that over there, but listen, guys, always remember people are going to look at your shop on their phones. Do not design on this big ass, uh, what's this desktop uh, look, always design on the actual uh, smartphone um display okay because this is how people are gonna display it so my logo is gonna come over here the three dots people already know so that means i'm designing from this standpoint i'm gonna have all my products over here and then that's gonna be basically where the customer reviews are going to be and then this is how it is that's how a store is basically that's how an online store looks like i do not you know when i think of how much money i've paid back in the days for people to build this website and I didn't have these tools, I really want to cry because I've paid close to about 10 to 20,000 Rand back in the days. I'm talking about, you know, umso boom days. When I say that, you would probably know my age. If not, it's okay. But anyway, like this is basically what you have to do. Just go through everything and make sure that you understand that you navigate on your left and you change on your right. If you can understand that, that is basically the basic that you have to do, okay? So this is what I want to tell you to just take your time and design. I'm gonna design this whole thing. I'm gonna, it's going to take some time because I have to change the testament, the, the, the uh, what's this? The testaments, because uh, these are fake. I don't know who's writing all of these things. I'm gonna put the real ones from Pusha. Uh, clothing and then I am going to also just change everything that is here but somehow I'm, I'm already liking the picture yeah me on that because that's the things that I'm going to do so let's go to the next video where we actually add the products that are going to show on our store and then from there I'll be completely done I want to change also this uh, that's not our logo our logo is somewhere in here so while you're here let me do that quickly so what we do is navigate over here Headline, let's go to our right, remember our right, and then we go to our logo, there's our logo, I don't know why it's not in, uh... so I want the drop down, mm -mm. drop down. So you must remember to always take your time with this and find out where everything is. See the logo is over here, so I'm just gonna change up the logo. I'm gonna remove this completely, and I'm going to get a logo. Here's my logo. Let's see how best it looks now. Boom, that's nice. I like that. I'm just going to I 
I want the width to go up. Yep, that's it. A little bit bigger. Yeah. And I'm going to go back here. Because I don't like the drop down like this. I don't like these two things over here, you see. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to play around this and I'm going to change everything before we start adding the thing. The free shipping, I'm going to do um, free delivery for South Africans. Uh, I don't think I will anytime like delivered in America because it's too expensive. But yeah, I'm gonna play around this, make it my own. So you can also play around yours. If you like the brown, it's fine. If you like the brown, the brown works with your I don't know what you're going to be selling, but here's my tips, right? So first thing is, it's 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 festive season. People are going to want to buy clothing, right? So with them trying to buy clothing, it's festive season and people are going to want to buy clothing, right? So with them trying to buy clothing, you're, you also have to look at what are they also interested in. It's also things like um, hats, things like um, apparel, sneakers, all these things. I'm just giving you a broad idea of what I would sell. I would have one of these stores that is running. I'm going to have six or seven other stores that I'll be running throughout festive season. But I'm going to be very focused on only two, right? Because I, like I said, on only four, actually. Uh, the other two is actually, the other two stream of income is not actually coming from online store but the two ones that i'm going to be focused on uh i want them to make 50k each which is easy to do in less than a month but i'm just saying that focus on something that you can sell if you have uh, also let me um what's this body lotions like body creams body uh butter those things those things are nice um, if you're going to be selling those body lotion things, this is the website that you can do because I'm going to show you how to look at your analytics, how to run your ads in another video. But you you no, not need to spend so much time on a website. You don't need your website as long as it's crisp, it's got all the trust factors, you are good to go. Like seriously, you are good to go. But there's no need to obsess over your website. I do not do it. I I, I just ch check for spelling mistakes and spelling errors and I check and I use, use chat GPT for everything else that I don't need and then boom, I'm done. Okay. And I move on to the marketing side of things, but these other elements that you have to look at it into in order for you to make your website work. All right. So play around this. I'm going to come back when I'm done with this and then uh, what we're going to do is just add the products next. Okay.